Well hello everyone, my name's Chris and today I'll be taking a look at a fisheye lens, one that's specially designed for use on a full frame camera, the Sigma 15mm f2.8 EX DG fisheye. It's a bit of an older lens nowadays and it's a little bit expensive brand new, costing about £450. You can find them a bit cheaper on eBay though. Fisheye lenses give you a picture with extremely strong barrel distortion and they also give you extremely wide angles. And this one can capture 180 degrees of field from corner to corner, giving you dramatic and fun images. It takes a little effort to get the composition of your photos just right, but the results can be quite rewarding, especially if you're shooting inside huge buildings, like cathedrals. On a full frame camera, this lens gives you a nice fisheye image across the entire image frame. You can use this lens on an APS-C camera, if you like, but then it basically just behaves like a wide angle lens with a lot of distortion, as you can see in the picture on the right. You'd be far better off getting a dedicated 8mm APS-C fisheye lens if you're using an APS-C camera. And so, today, I'll just be testing this lens on a full frame camera. Firstly though, let's look at the build quality. This is one of Sigma's old EX lenses, which means that it's built very nicely indeed, feeling very solid and tough, but without being too big or heavy. There's quite a lot of metal used in the lens body. The lens comes with front and rear lens caps and a detachable metal lens hood, which stays in place quite well although that lens hood will block out a lot of your picture in use, as you can see here. Obviously, it's best to leave it off. You cannot put filters on the front of this lens, but there's a little space at the back behind the rear lens element where you can slip in a specialist filter. The lens does not have image stabilization, but that's not a major omission for such a wide-angle instrument. The focus ring turns very smoothly, with plenty of travel for good precision. However, you can only turn it when the lens is turned to manual focus. Don't try to force it round if you're switched to autofocus. Actually, the lens's autofocus system is not particularly impressive. It's pretty slow and noisy. That's hardly ninja level speed or silence, but neither is it really a major problem because fisheye lenses have such a deep depth of field that focusing correctly is not difficult. Overall, this piece of kit is built very nicely indeed, even if its autofocus system is a bit old school. Now let's see about image quality. As I said before, I'm testing it on a full frame camera, in this case, a 20 megapixel Canon 6D. With the aperture wide open at f2.8, we see very good sharpness in the middle of the image, as well as good colours and excellent contrast. However, things get a little more complicated in the corners. The picture looks a bit dark and murky, signifying quite noticeable vignetting. Also, in the extreme corners, we see some softness and an awful lot of blue and pink chromatic aberration. To be fair, that level of colour fringing is quite typical for a fisheye lens but it's still disappointing to see. Stop the lens's aperture down to f4 for a lot more brightness and noticeably more sharpness in those corners. Stop down to f5.6 for a further improvement, and at f8, the picture quality is about as sharp and clear as it's going to get, looking pretty good in the edges, and of course, still extremely sharp in the middle. The lens stays this sharp until you stop it all the way down to f22, where we see a little softness due to the effects of diffraction. Overall, the lens's image quality is always very nice in the middle with great contrast levels and sharpness. Things get a bit softer in the corners though, with some very notable vignetting and chromatic aberration. But some of those problems are simply common for most fisheye lenses and the corners clear up if you stop down to about f8. Well, let's see how this lens performs when working against bright lights. When the aperture is wide open at f2.8, we do get some problems. There is quite complex, although admittedly attractive, flaring. However, if you stop the lens's aperture down to f4 or darker, that periphery flaring disappears, 
leaving behind one main point. At least the contrast levels remain quite good. This lens does have a bright maximum aperture of f2.8, meaning it can let in quite a lot of light for shooting indoors, or for getting out of focus backgrounds in your pictures, which is surprisingly quite possible with this lens, if you're shooting close up. And this Sigma lens can shoot impressively close up. The quality of those out of focus backgrounds, also known as the Bokka, is always very pleasant, without looking distracting. Overall, the Sigma 15mm f2.8 EX DG Fisheye presents us with very exciting images indeed. It's decent maximum aperture, nice quality bokeh, good colours and contrast, and sharpness in the middle of your images ensure that it can get you some very handsome pictures. There are a few question marks over its picture quality in the corners of the image frame, and the autofocus system is pretty outdated nowadays, which might put off some professional photographers. But overall, this Sigma lens is a lot of fun if you're using a full-frame camera.